everybody, welcome into this Adobe Lightroom tutorial. I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. Today we're going to talk about the really incredible power of lens correction and the guided upright tool in Adobe Lightroom. Now, if you do enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to this channel using that little red button down there. And if you really love this tutorial and you're looking to support the channel, well, pick up a copy of my Photoshop course. It's all about how to retouch images. There'll be a link that appears up there, but there's also a link down in the bio. This channel is funded entirely by viewers just like you. So thank you so much for your support. And without further ado, let's jump into this video and check this out. So here we are in Adobe Lightroom and I have this photo shot at about somewhere between 17 and 20 millimeters with the Canon 17 to 40 F4 lens. Uh, I've just swung through Pittsburgh for a quick trip a little while ago and uh, I've had a couple of these architectural photos and these photos in particular uh, are really interesting to play around with the lens correction features here in Lightroom. Now, before I do any of the big lens correction stuff, I usually like to come over here and by the way, we're in the develop module, the develop area of Lightroom. I want to come down here and open up the lens corrections tab. And for the most part, if, especially if I'm working with a raw photo, I like to enable the profile corrections. This is basically just going to allow Lightroom to try to auto detect what the make and model of the camera is or make a model of the lens, excuse me, that's being used is so it can kind of uh, make the appropriate corrections for vignetting and, and the lens fisheye pin cushion distortion um, that it kind of knows it should. And you can also tweak the uh, distortion distortion amount just kind of by playing around with a slider. I'm going to leave it as it is. I just generally like to go and do that with virtually any raw photo that I'm working with here in Lightroom uh, because, you know, hey, why not? But the big change is going to happen down here under the transform tab. Now, this is where things get interesting. We have a number of options, auto guided, level, vertical and full. And we'll get into messing around with the vertical and the full adjustments in a moment. Uh, but a level basically is going to try to just level your photo out based on these smart uh, artificial intelligence here that uh, uh, that Lightroom possesses, uh, that's not quite what I want. So I'm going to just command or control Z to undo that. We also have the option up here to, to do an automatic uh, lens correction. You can see it really is, you know, tweaking and messing around with things. Um, I don't really like that either. I'm most interested in this tool right here, the guided upright tool. And you can click right there to use it, or you can hit just the guided option here. Now, part of the cool thing about the guided upright tool is, well, number one, you get this nice little zoomed in automatic loop so you can see where you're clicking. And let's say I, I can tell this building looks like it is laying backward because I'm down here at street view shooting with a wide angle lens. So the, the image looks like it's almost laying back. Well, this will actually help us correct it. So let's just say, all right, we're going to click and hold here at the top part of the building. And I'm going to drag all the way down along. Uh, what would be the same here, the same sort of rib that runs along the front of the building. I'm just going to try to line it up as best I can with that. There we go. So that's nice and straight. And then I think I'll come here to the outer uh, portion of the building over here and I'll drag a line down along this part of the building. So something kind of just like that. And I can see I get this really extreme change. In fact, if you've looked around at a lot of architectural photography portfolios, you're going to see this kind of effect where it almost looks like the top of the building is being like splayed outward and the bottom is almost being pinched inward. And this is what it is. It's this kind of correction taking taking place for the fact that the photographer was down very low and was shooting upward with a wider angle lens. You're trying to correct that. But good for us, we have some additional transform options here, vertical, horizontal. Now these are going to do things like, hey, maybe I don't want the photo to look like it's laying back as much, so we'll straighten it even more. Um, now that's probably a bad idea because the guided upright does give us perfectly straight up and down lines. But something that could help us here is this aspect option. And aspect, what that's going to do is it's going to either make our photo taller and skinnier or kind of like shorter and fatter or shorter and wider. And that is what you can use. If you widen the photo a little bit, you can kind of combat that really bizarrely elongated spreading out look. Um, as you can see, it's doing here. It's still not perfect, but it does a lot to help. And then scaling is what we can use, or you can choose to constrain crop, which will basically crop in to get rid of all these white areas. But you can just use scale and kind of scale in to get rid of some of that stuff. Um, and you could take it into Photoshop and, and try doing some content aware fill. Now, obviously here you can see the edge of, I think there was some kind of filter I was using that day. I don't really remember, uh, but there's, there's a lot of work that would have to go on there. Uh, but instead of constraining the crop here, what I would normally do is come to the actual crop tool, use that, and we can just constrain our crop this way. And here I'm just going to right click and, and uncheck constrain aspect ratio because we want to just kind of do like a total freeform crop here. 
And you can see we can crop away all that white stuff and we get, you know, an image that's not at any kind of like, you know, oh, that's a recognizable aspect ratio, 16, nine or four to three or whatever. Uh, but we have a photo that has been corrected in terms of those lines on the building are straight. Now you might not like it. You might want to go back into the transform tool and say, I really, I really need to just kind of shorten and widen that even more. Or maybe I want to take the vertical and I want to just mess with it a little bit and try to try to straighten it kind of to the point where it looks good to my eye. And obviously you can do whatever you like, do it looks good, but use these tools and the guided upright is a really nice way to attack an image specifically like this, where you have a lot of vertical lines. And by the way, you can use horizontal lines as well on the guided upright tool. Uh, so you can do a lot with that tool in terms of specifying exactly how you want Lightroom to attack the lens correction. And in this case, you know, full transformation of the photo. Now let's jump over here to this other photo. Same, same kind of deal where the buildings look like they're laying backward because it was shot, you know, standing on the street corner, same 17 millimeter lens, uh, all that jazz. So the buildings look like they're laying backward a little bit. All I want to do here is just show you here. We'll, we'll tick on enable profile correction. There we go. Looks good. Um, and then we'll go to transform and we're just going to try straightening this vertically. So this is going to level the image off and try to straighten the vertical lines. And when we do that, you're going to see it gives us a little bit of that same effect almost as the guided upright tool did, where the buildings now look like they're sort of splaying outward uh, near the top. We can grab our crop tool. We can pull this back and I can look. And sure enough, if you look over here, that like edge of the brick is going sh perfectly straight up and down along with my crop. So I know it made them straight up and down. It may not be exactly, uh, may not be exactly what you, the, the look that you're going for necessarily, uh, but those are straight up and down and we can use our aspect again to just kind of like, you know, make it a little bit wider or, or do whatever correction we feel like needs to be made. Um, in this case, I'll just tick on constrain crop and you can see it just knocks away that extra junk. Uh, so that's, that's one way you can work with vertical and it's really cool to kind of play around with that. Now, one thing I do want to show you here is with the full option over here, if I, um, if I just undo this a few times and get rid of the transform feature that I applied to this, like so, and then I come over and just choose full. And this would be the same as using like the guided upright tool and select a couple vertical lines and then select the horizontal line. If I use full, what Lightroom's going to do is it's going to try to kind of straighten the image out. I'm going to undo that. It's basically taking the face of the building here and trying to turn the whole camera as if I was standing on the street corner over near where like this car is. And what's really cool is you can see like there's that sign right there in the window. If I hit full, you can actually kind of read what that sign says, lease, and it's got the company's name and even the phone number it's preserved. So it's taking an incredible amount of detail and sort of reconstructing this. Now, obviously, if you absolutely wanted to keep this, you could go ahead and grab the crop tool, of course, right? Let's just shut off the constraint aspect ratio. And we would like pull this back a little bit and we pull this up, right? And maybe this is the photo and you're like, whoa, this is exactly what I need. This has saved my butt. Uh, but obviously this big street sign is in the way and, and Lightroom is not smart enough to know that that really shouldn't be moving with everything else. So you would have to do a serious clone job in Photoshop to clean that up. But it really is remarkably incredible that it will take that entire facade and rotate it into the camera. There's a lot you can do in terms of straightening out shots, buildings, uh, signs. Maybe you want to straighten out a sign. There's a lot you can do do. And like I said, you can just use the guided upright tool if you want to go like vertical line, vertical line, and then just draw a horizontal line across that face. And it would turn the whole image into the camera as well. So just something to think about if you're looking at a photo and something's not quite exactly how you want it to be, you have the power to make massive changes um, just like that. So lastly, uh, let's come over here to this shot, which is just some of the bridges in Pittsburgh. And uh, we'll do the same thing, lens, lens correction, just on a matter of principle at this point. Uh, but if we come under transform and we go for full here, you can see it actually does a really nice job of kind of turning the camera into this angular railing, right? So we can say full and I'm just looking down here across the bottom. Whoops. I want to, I want to go ahead and hit full again. I accidentally undid that and we'll make sure we constrain the crop as well. And when we do that, we're back to where we were. You can see here across the bottom, maybe it's not quite as straight as we want it to be. So you have your rotate options where you can go ahead and rotate the image. If that's not quite working, you might want to swing the horizontal view. So maybe I'll swing that. There we go. Maybe that's more like what I wanted and we're pretty much good to go. We could adjust the vertical a little bit if it needs to be. You can adjust the aspect a little bit. In this case, I think the aspect is actually working pretty well for us. Uh, but the whole point is if I hit the little toggle on off switch here, there's before 
the, the image shot very obviously on an angle, not maybe in the quote unquote proper position. And you just rotate the entire photo. So the railing is just running beautifully straight across the, the foreground of the frame, uh, just by using the full option over here in the transform, uh, panel. So there's really an immense amount of stuff you can do here with the lens corrections in Lightroom. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Get in there and play around with it. There's so much you can do with so many of your photos portraits, uh, landscape photos, urban stuff, really anything with geometric shapes, which is part of the reason I think urban stuff looks and works, I mean, or maybe I should say architectural stuff in general, urban and architectural in particular, you can do incredible things with uh, here in the lens, both the lens correction, but especially lens correction with the transform tab um, as well here in Adobe Lightroom. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for checking out this video for talking about lens correction and aspect ratio and even some cropping stuff along with just the power of the guided upright tool here in Adobe Lightroom. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.